Do you find the choices of machine vision cameras available quite overwhelming? Not sure which parameters to choose for your machine vision camera selection? Hi, I'm Raghava Kashyapa, CEO and founder of Qualitas Technologies. And in this video, I'm going to demystify the process of camera selections for you. There are two types of cameras to choose for your machine vision project, area scan cameras and line scan cameras. Area scan cameras, as the name suggests, captures an area of pixels in one frame of your image. Line scan cameras captures a single line of pixels. Multiple of these lines are then stitched together to form an image. Line scan cameras are used for specialized applications, say for very high speed continuous inspections, or let's say you want to unwrap a cylindrical object where you want to inspect the periphery of the cylindrical object. The other common use of line scan cameras are to capture a very high resolution over a large area. X parameter is the resolution. This is probably the one you've heard the most. Resolution is number of pixels present in the camera sensor. So for instance, if you come across a camera which is 1920 pixels by 1200 pixels, it means that the image captured will be represented by 1920 into 1200 or roughly 2.3 megapixels in size. So how do you know which is the right resolution to choose? Resolution is calculated by field of view divided by the minimum feature size to be inspected. The next parameter to be considered is the frame rate of the camera. The frame rate is nothing but the number of frames or images captured in a second. The frame rate is also correlated with the shutter speed or exposure time which is the time that the camera sensor is exposed to capture the image. So higher frame rate cameras have a faster shutter speed as well. For example, a camera with a max FPS or frames per second of 100 means that the fast shutter time would be 1 by 100 or 10 milliseconds. This leads us to the next parameter, which is the shutter type. There are two types of shutters that you can get in a machine vision camera, global shutter and rolling shutters. Global shutters expose the camera sensor area simultaneously, so all the pixels are exposed and captured simultaneously in a single shot. On the other hand, a rolling shutter camera exposes a line or row of pixels sequentially one line at a time, each taking a pixel at a slightly different time interval than the other. So the obvious side effect of a rolling shutter camera is that for moving objects, the image can be slightly blurred. This leads us to parameter number five, the sensor size. There's been an increasing trend in the camera sensor market to increase the resolution. However, when it comes to machine vision, remember, size does matter. Sensor size is the amount of physical sensor area that's exposed to light during image acquisition. So a high resolution camera takes a sensor and divides the sensor into smaller pixels. Thus, a higher sensor size results in bigger pixels, but for the same resolution, a smaller sensor size results in smaller pixels. Thus, the sensitivity of each pixel varies vastly based on the sensor size. So the choice of sensor size depends on your application. If it's for a very high accuracy measurement, I would highly recommend a larger sensor size. Of course, larger sensor size cameras are also more expensive. The last but not the least is the quantum efficiency. The quantum efficiency is the efficiency of the camera sensor to convert light energy of photons into electric energy or electrons. The efficiency is usually specified as a curve plotted against the wavelength of light. As an example, here's a quantum efficiency curve of the Sony IMX174 sensor. You will find that it reached a peak efficiency at a wavelength of 525 nanometers which in this case is in the green spectrum band. So there you have it folks, camera selection demystified. So to summarize, here are the parameters that we went through. Number one, camera type. Number two, resolution. Three was a frame rate and exposure time. Number four was a shutter type. Number five, sensor size. And number six was quantum efficiency. I hope you enjoyed the video about the camera selections parameters. If you have a question or a comment, please do leave it below and we'd love to hear from you.